Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at some of the ballet positions and movements from Ready to Fly. First we'll start with the five basic ballet positions. There are positions for your arms and for your feet. Let's do the arms first. The first position arms are rounded so your fingertips are at your hips. The second position arms are out at your sides. For third position, take your right arm and put it in front of your body. For fourth position, put your right hand above your head. For fifth position, make your left hand join your right hand above your head. Now let's take a look at the feet for the five basic ballet positions. For first position, your heels are together and your toes are turned out, kind of like a penguin or a duck. For second position, you're going to put a little space between your heels. For third position, take your right foot and put your heel in between your toes and your heel on your other foot, where the arch of your foot is. Now for fourth position, take your right leg out a little bit so there's space in between your feet. For fifth position, try to get your heels and your toes on the other side of your feet to touch. Don't worry if you can't do this position really well. Most ballet dancers have to practice a lot before they can do fifth position. Now let's take a look at some of the other ballet movements that we see Sylvia Townsend do in the illustrations of the book. We're going to put our feet into first position and we're going to bend our knees. Now our body is making a diamond shape from the waist down. A releve is to go up on your tiptoes. See if you can hold it. Come on down. Next we have an arabesque. You're going to face to your right side, put your right arm in front of you, and your left arm beside you. And then you're going to try to balance on your right leg. Pick your left leg up as high as you can. A pirouette is a ballet turn. We're going to start with our left foot forward and our right foot back. We're in fourth position. Now you're going to bend both your knees and as you straighten your knees, pick your back leg up. We're going to make a number four with our legs. While you're doing that, try to turn. Use your arms to help you. Now a grand jeté is a big leap. We're going to pretty much do an arabesque as we move across the floor. Now, reverence is how ballet classes end. It's a curtsy or a bow to the instructor and to your other dancers to say thank you for a wonderful class. So a girl would do a curtsy by putting her right foot behind her and bending both legs. A boy would do a bow by standing in first position and putting his hand over his heart and leaning forward. At the end of the book, the author includes a photograph of Sylvia Townsend. In this photo, she is 
on point. That means Sylvia is wearing special ballet shoes here on her feet that help her rise to the tips of her toes. You can't go on point unless you have very special ballet shoes and you have a ballet teacher telling you how to do it. It's not something to try at home in any kind of shoes. Now I'm wearing my hard point shoes. I want you to see what it looks like when a ballerina is dancing on point on the very tips of her toes in very special shoes. Watch my feet. I can go into releve and since I'm wearing these shoes, I can go all the way up. Now, I've been wearing two different kinds of ballet shoes. I have a soft ballet slipper and I have a hard point shoe. I want you to see the difference. With this ballet slipper, it's very soft and flexible. Listen to the sound. You don't really hear anything because it's fabric hitting the floor. This point shoe is very hard. It has special wood inside it in the back and here in the toe part to make it really hard and stiff to help me. Listen to the sound. That's a really hard shoe. Inside, it's empty, but I wear special things to help me. I have a little pouch of fabric that covers my toes and I have little jelly spacers that go in between some of my toes, so my foot will stay in the spot it needs to to be able to fit into this shoe and not wiggle around inside. You have to work really hard and really long before you're allowed to put on point shoes. I've been dancing for about 16 years. So remember, lots of boys and girls usually dance in this soft shoe, Sometimes, when you've been studying a really long time, a girl gets to wear this very hard shoe. Usually, we stay with this one. You did a great job! I hope you enjoyed our little ballet lesson today.